Hello, hello. Welcome back to Party Match Extra Winnings. Uh, guys, we've got such an exciting second episode lined up for you. I'm Suhail Chandok. We've got uh, a very, very special guest. Uh, you guys might be familiar with him by now, but uh, we're going to call him different names because his predictions were on point last time around. Uh, absolutely superb from our main man, Robin Utapa here at Party Match. Uh, but Extra Winnings is extra special because we keep giving you guys a few predictive tips, a few bits of analysis, a few expert opinions, especially from Robin and a few others down the line as well that help you guys make better picks ahead of each match here at the Asia Cup. And uh, I think uh, it's on that note that I'm going to try and invite Robin straight away. Uh, we'll get him on in just six picks. Um, and Robin, I've just sent you a quick invite. Uh, he's given us a wave and I know he's waiting to talk to you guys as well. I know there's a lot of fanfare about this encounter. Hey, Robin, welcome. Hello, hello. Good to see you, man. Likewise, dude. Good to see you. Good to see you. Nice and smiling because obviously India getting past the line versus Pakistan. Robin, I gave you this big introduction last time around about the swashbuckling batsman, the humble guy off the field as well. So I'm going to set that aside, get straight to the action as well because last time around, I I'm wondering whether to call you like Robin the rhinoceros or Robin the robin, uh, given that Paul the octopus got his job done during the FIFA World Cup some time ago because your predictions, man, were on point. You predicted an India win. You predicted the toss would play an impact as well. Uh, you predicted some perfect kiss me, kitna hai, dumb predictions. Uh, guys like Virat versus Babar, Rohit versus Mohamed Amir as well. So I'm going to just doff my hat off to you, even though I've not got one and you've got one on. Well, well done, well done. Good stuff. But how much did you enjoy that win, Robin? Because uh, uh, in a while, you know, we, we've been talking about India-Pakistan encounters needing to be close and we got one. Yeah, as in I think it was after a while that we had a, a nice close one. Uh, like we all would, would actually like it to be. Um, but I'm actually smiling a lot more because I'm in good internet facility area. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm confident that today I'll be fine. We'll, we will go through, uh, you know, uh, scot-free from any, any interruptions. Hundred uh, percent. I, I hope I hope there's no commentators curse here because <laughs> I hope that doesn't happen. We won't jinx it. We uh, won't jinx it. Having said that, um, I think uh, India played fantastically. I think the toss was crucial. I thought they got the eleven right. I got them. I think they made some uh, changes in the batting order that nobody saw coming. I think all of these yeah. things were big positives for India, and I think it just goes to show the manner in which they're thinking, which is very uh, just slightly out of the box, which is not. Yeah. Um, kind of predictable, uh, or it's not been, it's not predictable as it, as it has been in the past, where there's a set kind of pattern. I think you can you can see that there's a little bit of flexibility in the way they think. So I think that that all goes well for the Indian team and, uh, moving forward. You know, whenever you know, जबी भी जब इंडिया पाकिस्तान मुकाबला हो रहे हैं तो हम कहते हैं कि अरे यार हाइप बहुत है लेकिन मैच उतना यू नो हाइप तक लिव अप नहीं होते यू नो एक्जेक्टली यू नो इट डजेंट लिव अप तू द हाइप लेकिन इस बार uh, like you said, you had a Jadeja batting at four. You had uh, nervy moments with the bat. Uh, India's chase wasn't guaranteed till Jadu and, and Hardik got going as well. So, ye jo hype tha, is time to expectation or reality match ho rahe the, na? Ha, bilkul. Kyunki ye ho raha tha, kyunki wahan pe conditions waise hain. Conditions yeah. aise hain ki uh, batting ke liye zyada easy nahi hai. Kafi mushkil conditions hai batsmen ke liye, especially T20 games mein. अगर ये वनडे मैच होता तो फिर भी समझ सकते हो यार थोड़ा मतलब थोड़ा बैट्समैन को मतलब बोलर को हेल्प करने दो उसके बाद बैट्समैन हैव टू बिल्ड एन इनिंग्स क्योंकि टाइम है समय है वहां पे वहां पे टाइम नहीं है यहां पे यार आपको रन बनाना पड़ेगा जल्दी बनाना बनाने पड़ेंगे रन तो इट्स इट सीम्स मोर लाइक अ नॉट अ मोस्ट नॉट द मोस्ट कंडूसिव टी20 विकेट पर आई थिंक डिस्पाइट दैट दे प्ले सम गुड क्रिकेट आई थिंक द फैक्ट दैट बोथ द टीम्स बोल्ड शॉट और कंडीशंस ये भी कि बहुत ज्यादा गर्मी है वहां पे अगर आपको yeah. याद है आई टोल्ड यू एट द बिगनिंग ऑफ द इन आवर फर्स्ट कन्वर्सेशन दैट इन आवर फर्स्ट एपिसोड आई सेड दैट यू नो द द हीट्स गोना प्ले सच अ मैसिव फैक्टर इन द गेम एंड इट डिड इट स्लोड डाउन द गेम टू द एक्सटेंट दैट द बोथ टीम्स वर थ्री ओवर शॉट करेक्ट आई थिंक दे हैव टू फिगर आउट अ वे टू ऐड वन मोर ब्रेक आई एम आई एम श्योर द द ब्रॉडकास्टर्स कैन मेक अ लॉट मोर मनी विद एडवर्टाइजमेंट एंड ऑल दैट दैट्स नेवर अ प्रॉब्लम या द प्लेयर्स विल गेट अ मच नीडेड ब्रेक बिकॉज़ इट्स एक्सट्रीमली हॉट you need yeah. an extra break so that the boys can move around at a higher intensity and make it a, a good quality t20 game and i think yeah, that's what we want to see administrators must keep in mind when they're conducting matches in 
conditions that are so trying yeah yeah that's what we want to see we want to see the intensity kept high and speaking of intensity robin uh, one man's intensity has just gone up a notch or 10 notches over the last 12 months hardik pandya uh, what a year he's having because not only has he won the ipl as captain he's then captain team india he's now uh, found a way to just find winning ways for team india in a match versus pakistan i mean this has become sort of the ultimate hardik pandya that we've seen hasn't it ye banda hai na pura ekdam pura transform ho gaya hai ye he's he's gone through a phase where you know 2018 mein he had that back yeah. injury uske baad uh, he went through a lot of issues i think uh, with everything that happened you know with with that whole episode with kofi yeah. karan and, and there was a lot of backlash to that uh having said that he he has always remained the same huh yeah uh, he 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 hasn't been any different from from who he was then uh, but i definitely do think he's gotten a lot more his his focus is a lot more focused at the moment if you can say yeah. that it's a lot more channelized um and there's a bit more maturity that, about him as well isn't yeah, there there's definitely yeah, there's definitely a lot more maturity i think his game has remained the same i think what is yeah. added on to his game is is a sense of responsibility and maturity which has come from responsibility that could be his kid that could be him leading um you know uh, leading gujarat uh, in the ipl it could be yeah. multiple reasons and i think the experience of just going through wo sari experiences ab aap jab jama karoge to aapko dikhega ki yaar ye is iski wajah se ye badlav aaya hai is bande mein yeah. aur it's a very positive change indian cricket ke liye aur agar ye injury free rehta hai to indian cricket ke liye india matlab har match mein 11 nahi 12 player ke sath khelenge yeah i completely agree with you lekin इस मैच में इंडिया पाकिस्तान जो जो हुआ था अ की फैक्टर्स क्या था इंडिया के लिए बिकॉज इट सीम लाइक इंडिया हैड इट सॉर्टेड इट सीम लाइक देयर वाज यू नो इट वाज ऑल प्लान्ड आउट बट वेयर डू यू थिंक द टर्निंग पॉइंट्स वर फॉर इंडिया व्हाट वर्क्ड फॉर टीम इंडिया ऑब्वियसली टॉस प्लेड अ बिग फैक्टर या आई थिंक मेरे हिसाब से टॉस इन 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 दुबई इन दीस कंडीशंस स्पेशली व्हेन यू प्ले हाफ आधे आधे मैच आप जब ट्वाइलेट पे खेलते हो और दूसरा मैच जब अंडर लाइट्स खेलते हो तो इट्स अ इट मेक्स अ डिफरेंस टॉस प्लेज अ plays a big factor so toss uh, number 2 would be um bovi's bowling i think yeah wo usne jo start diya india ke liye i think that that has been phenomenal and that's one of the reasons that we got we restricted them to the uh, target we restricted them um yeah and and for me the way hardik bowled as well um jadeja's batting uh, even though in between he slowed down just a touch could have caused yeah. a little bit of worry if 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 hardik wasn't in the kind of form that he was in it would have probably been yeah. a little too much jab panch aur 50 chahiye the to you felt like yaar ye thoda kis taraf jane wala it was kind of yeah. we didn't know which way is going to swing uh, so yeah so having said that i felt like uh, these four guys were, were guys who really played an important role and obviously hardik's finish at the end obviously uh, his whole performance in the game stood out for me i think these were what were yeah. that that actually brought that victory about for us aur agar hum pakistan ki taraf hum dekhe jaye to where do you think things went wrong for them were they a bowler short obviously the injury to shahin afridi uh, is a big one for them but where do you think things went south for them robin mere hisab se jab hum uh, when when we were discussing this during the course of the game uh, i remembered uh, i remember thinking that you know when i watched pakistan bat first when they bat yeah. second you know that you know they, they, there is a there is a there is a set pattern in the, in which they bat Correct. and they they are very good chasers of scores but when they bat first they never really like they, ha- they don't really have a template or a pattern so yeah. to speak and i feel like a lot is dependent uh, on on babar and babar. someone like rizwan right so i think wh- when you lose one of them early you put you you put a lot of pressure on the rest of the the batting order so i think clarity jata hai ha ha to unko shayad important ho jayega unko jab wo jab batting first kar rahe to un dono ko separate kare ek aur banda aur aur usme unke paas ek left hander hai fakar zaman who's a opening correct to agar wo open karega kisi ek bande ke sath to the other guy can come down the order at number 3 lengthens yeah. and strengthens the batting order kyunki fakar is also yeah. very important um important player in cog in their wheel in pakistan's wheel so you know i feel like if that is a change if if that's one improvement i think they can do and definitely you know conditions are were equal for both teams but obviously yeah. i think nerves also play a big factor in guys getting um, cramps and all of that so you know you you want yeah, to make sure yeah, that yeah. you know they address those kind of stuff uh, cuz they can they can win you a game or lose you a game you know 
Yeah, exactly. Exactly. In a T20 game, you don't want to see someone going off with cramps when they've got four overs to deliver 24 balls yeah. as such. And yeah. we've seen uh, much more than that delivered in Test cricket, obviously. But you have given one more answer the last time, which was that Virat Kohli would be back amongst the runs. They set a good platform for him. And, and that was great to see. But do you think that he was really back? How much uh, can you read into that innings of Virat Kohli? Because he looked really good while he was out there. I would say... If you ask him, तो uh, मुझे लगता है कि वो भी नहीं मानेगा कि वो अच्छा बैटिंग किया था उस उस पिछले इनिंग्स में क्योंकि मेरे हिसाब से भी जब बाहर से जब देख रहा था इट फेल्ट लाइक चीकू जनरली विराट जनरली समान हुज गॉट वेरी नाइस एंड लूज एंड सफल हैंड्स और वो उस उस पहले उस मैच में अगेंस्ट पाकिस्तान हाथ ऐसे लग रहे थे कि थोड़ा हार्ड थे बॉल पे यू कुड सी दैट एज हां एज दैट वेंट टू सेकंड स्लिप टू सेकंड बॉल फॉर टॉप एड सिक्स वो वैसे वाले शॉट्स हम मतलब वो कभी नहीं दिखते विराट के बल्ले से सो यू नो यू नो दैट इट वाज अ लिटिल एजी इट कुड बी नर्व्स इट कुड बी द फैक्ट दैट यू नो एवरीवन इज टॉकिंग एवरीवन वांट्स हिम टू कम बैक टू फॉर्म सो यू नो ही इज आल्सो अ लिटिल पंप्ड अप एंड ही वांट्स टू कम बैक टू फॉर्म समटाइम्स आई फील लाइक यू कैन सी दिस इज लाइक चेंज इन हिज टेक्निक हिज बैट यूज्ड टू जनरली इन हिज स्टांस कम मोर फ्रॉम सेकंड एंड थर्ड स्लिप नाउ इट्स ट्राइंग टू नाउ इट्स कमिंग फ्रॉम uh the keeper between the keeper and the first slip i don't know if that's a that's a change that's required for someone like him uh but yeah. these are things that i noticed in the last game and i and and i feel like he has to feel his way back but it's important that it it, it happens with a, uh, in a way that does not put pressure to the to the other batsmen as well who are there you know so uh, he he but he's such an experienced batsman i'm mai mai yakeen karta hu ki wo he'll find a way around all of it and i think i genuinely think it's just a matter of time and the fact that you know he got he's got the rubber the green going his way uh, i'm i'm yeah. certain that we'll get to see a more fluent uh, virat in 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 due course yeah especially with this next game today coming up against hong kong maybe that's an opportunity because a lot of eyes robin will be on the indian top order you know rohit sharma kl obviously going for a first ball dark virat kohli as you said not quite finding his feet how important is it that the indian top order finds their form versus hong kong because suddenly the top order is the issue and not the middle order for team india which is something we're not quite familiar with are we dekho zindagi mein ye cheez hai ki har har waqt kuch na kuch thoda ye idhar udhar gadbad hota hi rehta hai par you have to kind of make do with you know what you've got at that point in time and move yeah. forward in the 2019 world cup we felt like the middle order was too slim and yeah. you know it wasn't as strong as we needed to be now we have a problem jahan pe uh we are saying okay the mid top the middle order is super strong now we just have to figure out the top order yeah. i think it's it's a matter of balance the only way to find balance is through imbalance my friend so yeah. <laughs> right so it's going to go here it's going to go there but we'll find it and the important thing is to find it by the time the world cup comes around right yeah. our priority should be that world cup because we have we have a, a world beating team at disposal at our yeah. disposal at this point in time so i think our priority i think every indian's priority should be ki yaar world cup mein ye sare players form mein rehna chahiye aur injury yeah. free rehna chahiye aur agar ye log form mein hai aur injury free hai we know that 9 out of 9.9 out of 10 times they'll be on the winning side correct you know? yeah so, and, and i think that's the and, important that's part right? yeah that's the important yeah and part. i think so, going forward uh, a lot of eyes will be on the world cup right yeah as in so these these are tournaments that you want to build up to that so you work up work yeah. out how do you want to uh, how, you know how do you, how you get these guys into good form you want rohit to be hitting well you want rahul to be hitting well because you know stats suggest that if these guys get 30 runs without losing a wicket in the first five overs if rahul would get 30 runs without a 30 run partnership that they more often than not get a 50 or 100 run partnership and yeah. he has never lost a game if these guys have got a 30 run partnership that's the stat that's what stats Correct. suggest right so these these are things that are very very important to indians india success so like people doubting you know, today when you listen to people doubting um uh, say rahul's uh, form and yeah. place and all i'm like what yeah. is wrong with you guys isn't the guy is yeah. out after a 100 day break you know he's had Correct. injury after, and then covid and he's come back and he's pushed uh-huh. himself to play in zimbabwe you know he's got yeah. he's getting into the groove give him some time have faith in the player yeah. like my my question to anyone who doubts rahul would be in any indian team would you want an inform rahul or anybody else opening the batting with rahul yeah, exactly. uh, rohit sharma you know yeah. and that's yeah. a no brainer 
तो इट्स अ नो ब्रेनर देन यू नो इट्स जस्ट अबाउट मेकिंग श्योर दैट दीस गाइस आर वैल्यूएबल फॉर द साइड सो दीस वैल्यूएबल वैल्यूएबल गाइस आर गेट गेट इनटू फॉर्म बाय द टाइम एन इंपॉर्टेंट टूर्नामेंट लाइक द आईसीसी वर्ल्ड कप कम्स अराउंड या एब्सोल्युटली आई थिंक समवन लाइक एल जस्ट ऊजेस क्लास इट्स ओनली अ मैटर ऑफ टाइम बिफोर वी सी हिम जस्ट गेट बैक इनटू द स्विंग ऑफ थिंग्स एंड इट्स ग्रेट टू सी इंडिया Uh, have him there now, as you said, in the build-up to the World Cup as well. But let's just move forward from that India-Pakistan game to now what's on the cards, which is India versus Hong Kong. आपने आशी last time कहा कि हम भारत में पाकिस्तान की cricket हम ज़्यादा follow नहीं करते हैं, लेकिन Hong Kong के बारे में फिर हम क्या बता सकते हैं? क्योंकि last time around, actually, Robin, you go back to the 2018 Asia Cup. It was a 50-over format, but they actually almost gave India a proper scare. India made 285 in that uh, encounter versus Hong Kong. they only lost by i think 26 or 29 runs they made 259 right. in that encounter right. so Indeed. how can we sort of expect them to come out can we expect a competitive outing from this hong kong setup or will it just be a breeze for a side like india the way they're going no it won't be a breeze kyunki ye sare players jo hong kong ke liye khelte hain na sare uh, indians pakistanis uh, sri lankans yeah. so mostly predominantly ye ye sare players hain so everyone uh, they're not as intimidated as say a namibia would be or Correct. a netherlands would be or an ireland would be right yeah. uh kyunki sare ek hi hai predominantly to wo intimidation factor nahi hogi aur uh, i feel like ye player jo hain hong kong ke player jo hain they'll have an extra motivation ki yaar india ke against khel rahe hain yaar inki against acha karenge to matlab yeah. naam ekdam roshan ho jayega dusri ye baat ye hai ki IPL में चांस मिल सकती है तो दे बी हाईली मोटिवेटेड टू परफॉर्म अगेंस्ट अ टीम लाइक इंडिया सो दीज आर फैक्टर्स दैट कैन मेक देम अ वेरी वेरी डेंजरस साइड स्पेशली इन अ टी20 गेम बिकॉज़ इन अ टी20 गेम आप मैच के रूप एकदम बदल सकते हो एक आध ओवर में तो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट इंडिया स्टे ऑन टॉप ऑफ द गेम इंडिया स्टे ऑन टॉप ऑफ दिस टीम एंड मेक श्योर दैट दे दे रिमेन कॉन्फिडेंट एंड हंबल इन देयर प्रोसेसेस Yeah. जो प्रोसेसेस वो लोग चुने हैं आई फील द मिनट द प्लेयर्स विल टेक इट अ लॉट मोर सीरियसली या आई थिंक होपफुली यू बी बैक विद योर इंटरनेट रॉबी आई नो यू स्पोक द स्पोक ऑफ नॉट जिंक्सिंग इट होपफुली इट विल बी बैक लेट्स जस्ट लियो हिम बैक इन लेट्स जस्ट रील हिम बैक इन एंड होपफुली दैट इंटरनेट विल बी बैक इन जस्ट अ सेकंड आई नो वी हैड अ कपल ऑफ इश्यूज लास्ट टाइम बट आई थिंक वी शुड बी Okay, with Robin this time around, and we'll have a little bit of fun with him actually on this aspect uh, later in our show. But uh, let's give it a three count: three, two, one. <laughs> and he's gone. He's not back. <laughs> But we'll get him back in just a second. Hang on. We're just going to give him another invite, and he'll be right back with us. I've just sent him another invite. Uh, I understand that he's at the mercy of a hotel's internet, guys. Uh, He's traveling across the country. Last time around, he was with the CSK. There you go, Robin. You're back. Very bad. Commentators got thrown out. Who is it? I'm in Bombay. I'm in Bombay, bro. <laughs> Next time around, we we'll just sit together. Since we're now in the same city, we got to do it. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, look, let's just continue our chat. We'll put this aside because uh, Joe uh, settled eleven. We're looking for for India. For India, and we we seem to be finding it with every encounter. What we वो ही इलेवन हम एक्सपेक्ट कर सकते हैं इस इस मैच के आगे या तो कैन वी एक्सपेरिमेंट कैन वी सी इफ यू एक्सपेरिमेंटेशन फ्रॉम राहुल द्राविड एंड द टीम मैनेजमेंट फॉर दिस सेटअप नहीं मुझे नहीं लगता कि कोई चेंजेस होंगे अनलेस किसी को कोई क्रैम का इशू हुआ या निगल हुआ है निगल हुआ है उस उसके बाद आई आई थिंक बिसाइड्स दैट मुझे नहीं लगता कि कोई चेंजेस होंगे इस टीम में सेम टीम्स सेम टीम सेम टीम लगेगा इस आई फील इस मैच में एंड आई थिंक दैट इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट कि द टॉप ऑर्डर फायर्स and i think i don't know if india will take up the challenge to say you know what conditions ko thoda test karte hain dekhte hain ki pehle toss jeet ke bat bhi karte hain so that we figure out how do we go about batting what is the like technique yeah. to go about batting to put up 180 runs agar yeah. yahan pe match jeetna chahte ho if you say for for example in the semis or the finals you have to bat first you have to you have to get a feel of okay if i bat right. first how am i going to give myself the best chance to score 180 runs So the, yeah. So the the best way to test that out would be in a game like this for India from yeah. India's perspective, right? Uh, so yeah. they might want to do that, and I think that would be a very justified, legitimate kind of call if they go ahead and do that. Yeah, I would expect the same as well. Uh, you've got a winning combination. When it ain't broke, don't fix it, as they often say. But uh, Robin, when it comes to the Hong Kong side of things, I know there's not too many big names. But in someone like Nizar Khan. uh their captain he scored a 92 versus india in that 2018 asia cup game uh is he one of the men to watch out for anyone else that you've got your eye on in that setup 
So, I feel Zakat Khan's one. I think Ejaz. Yeah. Uh, I think it's Ejaz. Ejaz Khan. Yeah, yeah. If I'm not wrong. Uh, I think he's yeah. someone who's who's been successful again against India. So these guys, he's he's been he's done well for them. Uh, he's their opening bowler. He's a, he's a experienced opening bowler, I think, for them. Correct. He's he's got wickets for them even in the qualifiers. I think in the final yeah. of the qualifiers, got four wickets for twenty four runs or something Correct. like that. Yeah. So he's in decent form as well, and and he's he's pumped up as well. And I think the bowlers will be a lot more pumped up on on conditions and wickets uh, such as in Dubai, uh, such as Dubai at this point in time, simply because it offers more to the bowlers. So yeah. I think the bowlers will be more pumped up than the batters, you know. And but yeah. these guys are Nizagat, Nizagat, and uh, Ejaz are, are two guys who've done exceedingly well for Hong Kong in the recent past. You know, आपने दुबई के बारे में बात किए थे and that actually comes down to uh, a question I've got, right? Because they've never played each other in a T20 international, India and Hong Kong. Uh, obviously, that that the one dayers are, are where we sort of draw our references from. But is that a comfort factor for Hong Kong playing at a venue that they're used to? Because The match in 2018 was actually also at the Dubai International Stadium. For yeah. them, do they get a bit of comfort from that? Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm sure. <clears throat> see, in that sense, ये match थोड़ा हल्का मतलब Hong Kong को favour करती है क्योंकि yeah it's better for a team like like an inexperienced team like Hong Kong to play a veteran like India uh, on nothing to lose conditions and where they have nothing yeah. to lose, right? It's the first game, so even if they lose, they they don't lose much. If they win, yeah. it's matlab mala mala. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. but for India, it's the other way around, right? If if they win, it's like, ha, huh, you're supposed to win. You're expected to win. If you lose, like, how yeah. dare you? You know. Yeah. Uh, so it's that kind of a situation. So I I feel like Hong Kong will be like, you know, pressure nii hai. Jaake enjoy karte hain. Let's try and make the most of this opportunity and and perform well. You know, make a name for ourselves. Uh, probably you know get people the IPL scouts to notice. Uh, yeah. Ye saari chiz ch- chal rahe honge unke yeah. dimag mein. So. There'll be a multiple, multiple, multiple things that are going on in the players' minds, but definitely, I feel uh, the Hong Kong team will be slightly relaxed. Uh, it won't be as you know, uh, about this game. Yeah, and I think that's that's going to be an important factor, right? Because they can come out all guns blazing, as you said. They've got nothing to lose. First game of the tournament for them, and, and no one's expecting much from them. I think uh, that's huh. something that we always talk about. Being an underdog, you've got that liberty to to go out there and, and sort of express yourself. But Robin Jabe, a expert, with us, like you are, uh, you know, we want to put you under the pump uh, here on extra winnings <laughs> with Pari Match. So well, it's time now for our first segment. We're going to jump into Pari Match predictions. Uh, you've nailed it so far in the first episode. So first up, Robin, what would you say if I asked you to predict the score if India were to bat first versus Hong Kong? I'd say one seventy-five. Okay, nice. Okay, also we're keeping the conditions at Dubai International Stadium in yeah. mind. What about the yeah. score if Hong Kong were to bat first? Hundred and thirty. I like that. Okay, fine. Uh, okay, predict who will come in at number four, given that we saw Ravindra Jadeja last time around. Uh, I think we'll see Surya Kumar Yadav at number four. Good call. Good call. I'd actually like to see Surya at, at number yeah. four as well. Okay, predict the man of the match for us, uh, Robin, because last time around Hardik uh, was. Uh, incredible to watch. Uh, will we see a top order blitz? Could it be someone else? I'm I'm going to punt on <laughs> uh, KL Rahul or uh, Suri Kumar Yadav. Nice. Okay, uh, we're going to remember these when we go forward as well. And finally, uh, this could be an easier one for you. Predict the winning team for us. India. <laughs> yeah, How I dare that's... you ask me a question? <laughs> How dare I even ask you that? There yeah. you go. Okay, yeah. I love it. You you've breezed through that. As always, uh, just a reminder to everyone: in the Asia Cup, India has actually faced Hong Kong twice. Both times was actually a uh, 50-over format. Uh, one time around, India had a mammoth 256-run win. The other time, as we said earlier, uh, was a very narrow victory. It was only a 26-run win back in 2018. Uh, so remember that uh, coming into this, Hong Kong aren't. Yes, they are minos, but they're still uh, in amongst it. They had a great qualifiers. When you look back at their last five T20 internationals, Hong Kong won four out of five. India have won four out of five as well. But uh, uh, talking about Hong Kong, uh, obviously they come into the venue carrying a lot of that confidence, Robin. Because the qualifiers they just did, they actually look good. They didn't just grind out wins, but they they got wins out of tough conditions, and that certainly helps a squad, doesn't it? Hundred uh, percent. Yeah, it definitely helps a squad, and I think it's uh, it's something that um, when they come into a tournament like this. uh it gives them a little bit of that oom factor to yeah. to take you know to take the bull by its horns and say you know what we're going to give yeah. our best and and see whether dust kind of settles 
and i think that's the mindset yeah. that they'll be going out with right because i think the coming off they played four games in the qualifiers and then they they won three at the back end that ended up qualifying and then so for me i feel like they'll be really pumped up about you know you have great offer yeah. like i said a few minutes ago i think they'll be looking to pursue that you know stack up a good performance against india pakistan and and you know make a name for themselves and you know because a lot of these guys like you know i think i remember the coach reading just somewhere that the coach said that a lot of these boys actually uh work part time jobs full time jobs and, yeah. and still play cricket so for them to be able to to be able to qualify at this this stage at the highest stage uh, and play the qual- caliber of players that they, that they are going to be playing i think it's going to be phenomenal for them and uh, it's going to be really encouraging for 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 the associate nations as well you know the other associate nations that you know yeah. uh, compete to qualify to to a tournament like this yeah and when you look at it obviously there's one real underdog side the side like india that is the number one side in the world uh, jab hum complacency or overconfidence ke bare mein hum baat kare to uh, is that something that you can set aside i know it's much easier on paper to not think about it robin but how much of a role does rahul dravid for instance have to play when it comes to just telling the boys look you can't take a side like this too lightly rahul bhai ek bahut hi process related insaan hai to wo result se matlab result result pe zyada focus nahi karte hain wo yeah. focus karte hain processes kya hai हमको मतलब दे वुड हैव वर्क बैकवर्ड्स कि हमको अगर ये रिजल्ट चाहिए तो इसका मतलब व्हाट्स द प्रोसेस टू रीच दिस 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 रिजल्ट तो एंड देन दे से विल फॉरगेट फॉरगेट अबाउट द रिजल्ट वी जस्ट फोकस ऑन द प्रोसेस एंड दे विल गो टू द डिटेल्स ऑफ द प्रोसेस एज टू हाउ टू एग्जीक्यूट देम व्हाट डू वी डू इन डिफरेंट सरकमस्टेंसेस किसको भेजना चाहिए एंड देन दे विल स्टार्ट वर्किंग दीस थिंग्स आउट जैसे कि हमने देखा था कि यार प्रोसेस ये है कि यार पिछले मैच में अगेंस्ट पाकिस्तान ये सोच यही हुई होगी कि यार जीत जीत हासिल करेंगे पहले राइट यू हैव टू विन ओके एंड सर इट्स अ 140 150 टारगेट सो लेट्स लेट्स मेक श्योर वी विन दिस कंफर्टेबली एंड वी मेक श्योर वन ऑफ दीस गाइस बैट एट द एंड बट दे नो वेरी वेल कि दे हैव लेग अ लेग स्पिनर एंड अ लेफ्ट आर्म स्पिनर तो क्या करेंगे हम लोग एक लेफ्टी को भेज देंगे ऊपर ताकि वो उस स्पिनर्स को टैकल कर सके एंड दैट्स एग्जैक्टली व्हाट हैपेंड अह इस एंड जडेजा एट नंबर 4 सो द प्रोसेस इज एवरीथिंग वाज 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 प्रोसेस फोकस्ड so yeah. you can be sure that rahul bhai will not wean away from something like that yeah. at this point in time he'll stick to he'll stick to his guns of focusing on the process you know we're, we're not far away from our, our final segment which is a fun one obviously kiss me kitna hai dam uh, you wasted last time around but one last question on the indian bowling department kyunki pichle baar uh, india didn't seem to miss someone like jaspreet bumrah because bhuvi and hardik got the job done uh, you got someone like ashdeep who's delivering at the death as well uzi in the middle overs who do you think could be the ace bowler in the pack for india i would say in the in the pack i would say chahel today because i think he's a he's hungry he's a match winner he's a wicket taker yeah. he wouldn't have liked the fact that he didn't get to, uh, he missed out on a, a few wickets in the last game so he, yeah. he would be raring to create an impact in this game yeah, he likes to uh, to buy a few wickets as well and likes to toss it up when uh, he wants to invite a few batsmen also i think the yeah. the hong kong batsmen might be uh, having to contend with a few things from Uzi Chahal today but uh, robin that brings us nicely into our final segment this is where i give you two rivals and you've got to tell us kis mein kitna hai dam very simple because uh, that is going to help us with our pari match predictions coming into this a lot of fans are waiting to hear from you and our first comparison is kl rahul versus nizak nizak khan who do you think uh, got the edge here kl love it simple bangalore boy going to get the job done for us tonight uh, Nizakath Khan versus Bhuvi who's got it Bhuvi so much in such good form yeah he is in tremendous form okay Babar Hayat who's actually been in good form coming into this tournament he's scored uh, close to 220 runs and a strike rate of 135 versus someone like Ashdeep Singh I would go Ashdeep because because of his abilities in the depth yeah nice okay fine uh, babar hayat again someone who's had a, a great run as an all rounder for hong kong versus sir jaddu uh, <laughs> who's on, got the <laughs> <laughs> i'll just move along i'll just move yes, along move it along. Okay, fine jaddu it is uh, moving forward i know you talked a lot about dinesh karthik last time right and, and being uh, the amazing finisher that he is but karthik versus pant do you think india will stick with dinesh going into this game will they experiment and bring uh, rishabh in no uh, i think they'll stick to 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 the nation itself uh, he kept really well uh, as well in the last game missed a tough chance down the leg side but outside of that yeah. i thought he kept exceptionally well 
he was there you know you know he was keen to finish and then hardik is like chill me kar raha hu so you know so you know he was keen to finish as well so you know he's up for the challenge so i wouldn't change that yeah. stick to that stick to dinesh because he's still uh, the best finisher in the country at the moment along with speaking uh, of hardik yeah and speaking of finishing and speaking of hardik i'm going to put you under the pump here a little bit sorry i, I know uh, you're going to hate me a little bit for this one but uh, dhoni versus hardik the better finisher come on <laughs> Is that, is that even a question? I'm a Jedi boy. I'll, hey, I'm not going to... Don't blame me. I'm going to scream at my producer after this. <laughs> I'll actually let the people watching this live just text you and tell you what the answer is. I might have a noose on me as by the end of it, Robin. <laughs> no, it's obviously MS because, you know, you, you know Hardik yeah. is, you know, is, is doing everything that he can to step into those shoes and he's stepping into those shoes pretty well. But, you know, MS has done it consistently yeah. well for a period of a decade and more right so yeah. you know you don't you don't you don't jump into those shoes and 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 become that man overnight you know it takes you don't mess with the tala it's as simple as that uh, i'm Tala-ha totally is glad Tala-ha. as well tala is tala yeah tala is yeah it is yeah okay batting first versus bowling first what do you prefer in in dubai uh, bowling first yeah nice yeah i like that um pre match chats versus post match chats what do you prefer i prefer both actually as long as we can chat <laughs> yeah i like it i i think uh, you're someone that just generally is just an easy person to chat with as well so i'm going to go with Thanks, that buddy. it's the first time you've given us a a, a a double answer as well okay sharukh khan versus salman khan we're moving into yeah. bollywood territory all the all the khans in bollywood <laughs> love it simple okay uh, heart or mind robin which one are you i'm uh... heart actually i'd love yeah, to you seem like a heart guy yeah. yeah yeah i love it okay fine uh, mumbai traffic versus bangalore traffic mumbai what is worse traffic. Mumbai... what what is better or what is worse what what would you choose which is better or which is worse which is better is mumbai traffic bangalore traffic yeah actually i agree with you i mumbai agree with you mumbai traffic is at least moving it moves you know you don't you're not you're not like stuck in a place for like 15 minutes 20 minutes Bangalore, you're stuck. You're stuck, buddy. You can go. Two, I hate. You want to go two I kilometers? hate to agree with you. You want to go travel two kilometers? It can take anywhere from two minutes to fifty yeah. minutes in Bangalore. Yeah. As a fellow South Indian, it pains me, but uh, I'm going to have to agree with you on that one. Uh, uh, one more that's going to pain me, Robin. Uh, Mumbai's internet versus Chennai's outskirts <laughs> internet. <laughs> Mumbai's internet. Mumbai's internet. <laughs> I agree with that. <laughs> yeah, I agree. And finally. one player from the past that you would love to open the batting with today oh man i would love to have batted with two people honestly as i would have loved yeah. to have batted with uh, sir vivin richards uh, yeah. and uh, matthew hayden love it that uh, i mean i i kind of figured uh, viv richards would be on your list for some reason but uh, hayden's yeah, a great pick as well and i'm sure you you've interacted a lot with him right given his lot, his uh, role at csk2 uh not as not as much in csk because i was always away uh yeah. i wasn't playing for csk back then but uh definitely uh, we've interacted off the field a little bit uh but he yeah. son i truly admired looked up to i loved the way he intimidated bowlers with you know just the way he played you know yeah. uh, and there was a a sense of like an air of confidence that resembled sir viv for me which yeah which is for me all of it right and you see yeah. that with players who have supreme confidence you know you saw that you saw glimpses of that with hardik uh, you see that with yeah. ms in a very in a very ms way uh, you you seen that with uh, rohit uh, you seen that with uh, in in virat you've seen that in ricky yeah. ponting brian lara oh, man you can just go on and what a what a wonderful yeah. what a wonderful time to be alive in cricket Hundred percent. I think uh, we grew up in in some great times watching these guys. I've got to say, watching Hayden walk down the wicket to fast bowlers was always a great sight. I I have to say, watching you walk down to fast bowlers, hitting them over the head is also That's a great sight, Robin. So I think actually, I learned it. I learned yeah, that from him. Yeah, there you go. Uh, like I wanted to emulate him and and try yeah. and intimidate the bowlers, and that's where I picked that up from. Yeah, well, you've done a great job of emulating that man, and pretty sure he'll he'll be proud of that as well. And one final question in in our segment here: uh, the eighty or fifty nine. For KKR versus CSK, or the 83 not out of 51 versus RCB in that epic 2014 season of yours, which would you pick? The one against uh, CSK, because uh, yeah. 
you know uh, playing against csk they were the team to beat and to be able to yeah. do that uh for kkr at that point in time uh, especially after the the wonderful season we had the previous year was was fantastic yeah it's uh, i think just remembering those few seasons of yours as well robin and just the impact you've had season after season the longevity of your career has been amazing to watch man and uh, thank you so much uh, for joining us yet again if for you guys or all of you who have joined us if you guys think that uh, you can match him in this kiss me kitna hai dum segment use your knowledge predict on pari match and there's some big big winnings for you guys so sign up on pari match.in now robin thanks again for joining us enjoy that yes absolutely it's always fun now in the eu man so thank you so much for having me it's this is this has been a lot of fun i look forward to these um, every few days through this asia cup and uh, you know even interacting with all of the fans and it's nice yeah. to have a lot of them come through and and sorry that you know i'm not able to you know pick out your names and say hello to everyone but hello and all my love to everyone who turn up here and send a message in send a message of love uh, i'd love to just say thank you to all of them and all my love to all of you and and your family as well lovely message and i think there's a lot of messages coming in for you and yeah unfortunately we can't address all of them there's a few messages asking us to speak in tamil as well so atavati nam tamil liyo pesuvom konjam undu but uh, you know Bye-bye. until next time yeah exactly uh, until next time guys uh, this is me sohel chandok signing off as well remember log on to parimatch.in there's uh, extra winnings for you right there uh, there's a whole lot more of extra winnings with robin coming through on the asia cup as well and uh, until next time make sure you get in there sign up at pari match uh, and make sure you play every single game because the asia cup is for the players out on the field for you guys to watch along and win big on pari match as well so until next time this is robin and myself saying goodbye see you